Welcome back to Lesson 1 on Types of Probability in Society. Probability exists in our daily lives, and many decisions are based on the probability of event occurring. For example, the weather. Many people check the weather every morning to determine if there's a chance of rain or snow or if it'll be sunny, and then based on that prediction, they make a decision. They may decide to walk to school or take the bus. If they see that there's a 40% chance of showers on Saturday, then they may decide to not hang out clothes that day or not have a barbecue. So people constantly plan and make decisions based on probability. Some decisions even as important as electing the next leader of the country. During elections, data is collected, often daily by some phone survey, to determine a probability that each party would have of winning the election if held that day. Now, knowing how voters are planning to vote is important for the political parties in determining if something they have previously said or did affected the poll results from previous polls, and then they can react accordingly. Some voters may want to examine the data to see how people are planning to vote and then decide to vote for a certain party just so another party doesn't have a majority. So polls such as these have a huge influence on people's decision making. You know, because probability is in our daily lives and important decisions are made, we do need to be careful to analyze the statements we read and consider all the facts and not make assumptions. So for example, if you see an advertisement stating that eating a certain cereal could lower your cholesterol by 25% if you eat it every day, leads people to assume that it will definitely lower their cholesterol by 25%. But there are many other factors that can affect your cholesterol. For example, your eating habits. You may eat the cereal every morning, but then eat high cholesterol foods for lunch and supper. You may have a family history of high cholesterol. Your age or if you smoke can all affect your cholesterol as well. So be sure to consider other factors when reading probability statements. So in example one, Says so Gemma works at a restaurant and observed that 9 out of 25 customers order a coffee every day. So she states that the next customer has a 36% chance of ordering coffee. What assumptions did Gemma make when she made that statement? Well, Gemma's assuming that the same amount of people will visit the restaurant the same time and have the same tastes as previous customers. So that's a lot of assumptions here. Let's write that down. Gemma assumes that the same amount of people will visit, say around the same time, and have same tastes as previous customers. So there are many factors that can affect the amount of people that visit, the time that people visit, and so on. So for example, if people visit later in the evening, they may not want to have a coffee that late. Um, if it's a different day of the week, like a Saturday or Sunday, people may not have a coffee. They might have one at home instead. Um, the weather can certainly affect if people are going to have a coffee or not. If the weather is really, really bad, for example, they may not want to go out in this, the bad weather. Or if it's really, really hot, they may not want to order a coffee that day. They may want to order a cold drink. So there are many things that can affect, and there are many assumptions that Gemma is making when she made that statement. So Gemma is assuming that all conditions are the same as previous times when she observed, which is not necessarily true.